hello everybody happy monday i hope you guys had an amazing weekend i saw that the, the volume was a lot better i'm gonna try to not speak so close to the microphone because all the puzz and sus was just like sounding crazy but i'm glad you guys can hear me and i'm not damaging anybody's eardrums being so low and i gotta turn the volume up so today's video is basically a nail set do uh doing like a paris nail theme kind of set i'm using the born pretty jelly milky polishes um so yeah i don't have a discount for you guys sorry but they are having sales it's the summer and fourth of july just end and then back to school is coming so i'm pretty sure everybody's about to be having sales all over again and then labor day so you know just watch like a hawk for those sales so i was going through my drawers my nail art drawers and i wound up finding some um nail foils they were like paris theme so yeah i just gave it an, a paris feel what i feel like would be Paris. um i've never been to paris do i want to go yeah i still want to go although people say it's very ghetto over there and it's not what you think it is i think i just want to go to experience one thing about me is you can tell me a bunch of stuff and don't do that don't do this and i'm probably not gonna listen because i just need to get a feel for it for myself like i gotta say that i went on my own and i experienced it and i didn't like it or did like it so anyway i got my first not so great review um doing these mobile apps it was for the client i did last week wednesday which I brushed up on on my last video or last two videos. So um, some of the things I could agree with her. She said I wasn't experienced. I can agree with that. I'm not the most versed when it comes to regular polish. Because it's just so, ugh, it dries fast. And then it's like, who really uses regular polish anymore? Like when I started my nail journey, I, I did buy regular polish, but once I found out about gel, it was like out with the out with the old and with the new. Um, she said I took two hours. I did not take two hours. Did it feel like two hours? Yes. The appointment was for 6.30. I got there 6.34 because I was late. I was set up by 6.45. 6.50 was when we started, and I finished 7.50 um and i was pretty much out of her house at like 7 56 because i packed up my stuff in between because i did have to go to the bathroom and go get a hot towel so i was like dumping stuff and kind of prepping myself to leave so when it was time to leave i could just leave um but it did not take two hours she said that she didn't know which um which uh polish i used because it was tacky and wasn't drying and in my mind i'm like you get you say you get manicures every week uh maybe you don't get manicures every week because it's polish like it's regular polish it's going to take forever to dry and if it's still tacky that means it's not dry yet yes no i don't know um but she said that i was sweet she did give me um like a five star punctuality which was really nice of her because like i would have been like yeah she was late and this 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 um i'm not upset about the review when i told my husband about it he was like it's okay to be upset he was like are you okay i was like no i'm not upset i think i would have been upset if i would have used gel polish and it took me that long and it just didn't you know there was mishaps because gel polish is something that i frequently use but i wasn't upset about the review i kind of in my mind i knew what was going on like i was having issues with uh, her cuticles because the buildup was insane but um i can agree like i'm not you know i'm not that experienced did it take long yes the time slot for a classic manicure is 45 minutes i took an hour so yes i can agree with that but the whole you know like you ain't got to lie craig like you ain't got to do that but anyway i just took it as I just need to step my shit up and you know just keep progressing and keep moving so um i did post it on threads just to vent about it or just to you know come onto the app and show other beginners or whoever that excuse me <coughs> oh excuse me sorry just to show other people like hey you know this this takes time over time you will grow and gain speed um, if this was a couple of years ago, I probably wanted to have her head and 
blame not I still take accountability but I would put the blame more on her like I would have been like but her dog was jumping on me and she kept stopping to watch Netflix and this and that and talk to her husband like but I'm not gonna do that because at the end of the day you know you gotta be professional and you have to realize that there's all these elements it's definitely not working in a salon and people do take advantage that you're not in a salon I'm in my house so I'm comfortable which is cool (laughs) So, um, one nail tech on threads did say, you know, why don't you just say you don't do designs with, uh, regular nail polish. You only do French, I mean French with uh, gel polish. And because it's an app and they do charge extra for gel the same way they do in the nail salon. However, um, the manicure is $45 to add gel is $25 to add nail art is another $25. So I get it. Nobody really wants to spend that money because you're paying for the traveling fee. And then on that app, a gratuity is guaranteed. So they do have to pay a, a, a tip. So yeah, I get it. Nobody wants to go through all those upcharges. It's fine. It's whatever. But I'm just letting y'all know how it went. So this way, when y'all get on these apps, y'all can't say, oh, Khaleesia didn't tell me. Because yes, I did. Just play these videos back. I did tell y'all. So there is a major difference. I feel like um, if you were in a nail salon, uh, you know, there's the fans that they dry in between the coats when you're using regular polish. There's somewhere to sit down. I do have nail dryer spray. Um, I've been using this base and top coat of the regular polish since the beginning of school and nobody complained that it was horrible. In fact, everybody liked my a regular base and top coat better than the one that the school had gave so um i mean looking at her i could tell like i'm surprised she ain't say much worse because she gives off those vibes like i'm going to complain at my earliest inconvenience the slightest inconvenience so it's cool so i take it with a grain of salt i just look at it as it's a learning curve it's a learning experience um i don't mind doing regular polish on the toes i don't like regular polish i just don't like it let me be honest let me stop lying it's it's, regular polish sucks like i get it back in the day that's all they had but times have changed we we don't need regular polish no more like there's peel off base coats if you want to change your manicure weekly where you could just peel it off and do it again but then people don't want uh, so much everybody's so picky nowadays but anyway this is my nail set so uh, before this video ends let me tell y'all a little bit about it i went in with some foil i didn't show the whole process of the foil because it gets redundant it's just you know rubbing the thing so that the thingy comes off the the you know y'all know how to do nail foil like and if not go some videos back i i do it fully um so one nail i did uh nail foil and then after i finished the set i did go back and do like that rhinestone chain i feel like that could have been put on a little better but it was just kind of crazy to work with and i went in with the two like middle nails with the glitter and um i don't know if i showed it i think i did it after i added because it just looked plain so i just kept adding some zhuzh to it and i wanted to add some cherries i don't know why i my brain connected paris with cherries and kisses I don't know i ain't never been to paris so yeah i don't know but yeah i was just doing some things trying to make it fancy fancy but um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna be putting out this week i haven't recorded since last week so i need some content record i don't know but we gonna figure it out so this video is coming to an end and i hope you guys stay cool because this week is supposed to be like crazy crazy weather So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Be good to you, be good to others. Bye.